In this video, I'm going to show you eight features which are hidden within Writer that you want to start using in order to improve the quality of the content and also improve your productivity. We're going to get straight in with these and we're going to go through the list. And the first one I want to show you is the SERP integration. So I'm here on the dashboard of Writer. I'm going to go over to account. I'm going to click on that and go down to integrations. When I click on this, you can see I've got the SERP analysis tool. Now this is originally with an orange button here that says enable and all you've got to do is click on that. I've already got it enabled. And what will happen then is you'll get the SERP analysis when generating blog ideas and blog outlines. In order to see this in action, all we have to do is go over to Writer. Whenever we have an output like this, it will pop up at the bottom. I do have a full walkthrough video to show you how to use the SERP analysis tool, and I'll link that at the end of this video. The next tool that we've got that is a hidden feature that you want to use is the keyword generator. In order to get hold of that, it's under use case. So we go to this drop down menu, it's alphabetical order, and we go to keyword generator. If we do that, then we can put a keyword in here. So we'll put AI copywriting, for example, hit write for me, and then we will get keywords that relate to this primary keyword produced. If I scroll down the bottom here, we can see we've got related keywords. So this is our list. And if you don't have your own keyword research tool, we can't afford to pay for one, then this is a really good use case to get you started before you actually start writing extended content. Number three is the readability score. So readability is a really important factor within Google for ranking. So all you need to do for the readability score is you highlight some text. You can see over here, I've got a number counting the number of characters. I also get the number of words and I get a readability score. And you can see at the moment, I've got a 65, which is standard. And I want to try and optimize my writing so that I've got a good readability score. If I go down here to the keyword list and I do the same thing, you can see that I get a readability score of one, which is very confusing, which makes sense because it's just a list of keywords. So you want to try and get that readability score as high as possible. But while you're writing and producing your content, then you can keep coming back, checking sentence by sentence or paragraph by paragraph and making sure that you're getting a good high readability score. The next thing is the end of document setting. Now this is a really, really useful one because every time you hit write for me, when you've got the original settings within Writer, your new content will go at the bottom of the article as it your document as it did when I just generated keywords. However, I might want to put a paragraph up here, which means I've got to create the new content down the bottom and keep cut and pasting at the top, which is really irritating. But if you go into settings and you can see here, we've got an option to append generated content at the end of the document or at the position of the cursor which I find a much more useful setting. So that's something you might want to go ahead and change right now. And what will happen is that whenever I produce some more content, it will be wherever the cursor is. So you just need to pay attention and make sure that before you hit the right for me button, your cursor is in the right place, but at least then you're not having to cut and paste. The next one that not many people know about with Writer is the AI image. So this is done within the document. So if I want to create an AI image, so let's go for a house on the beach at sunset. All I need to do is I highlight the text, I go over to AI image and it will auto create an image with that text. So it's using an AI image generator in order to produce that image. And then what will happen is within my text, I will get my AI image. We all know that Google is looking for images and it's looking for the alt text. And what this is able to do is to produce an AI image for you within Writer. And then you can just keep writing underneath all of your content and the image has been produced for you. The next one is your profile. That's the next one I want to show. So if you're somebody who's using Writer in order to be able to produce content and you don't have your own website yet, maybe you're starting yourself up as a copywriter, then you might wanna go ahead and set up your profile. It says down here, all you've got to do is activate your profile. So you hit create profile here, you put in your information and then you hit create. 
what will happen then is you'll get a profile and you can send the link to this profile off to potential businesses that you want to work with maybe you want to copyright for a particular business and you can send them this link and they will be able to see what you have produced now they won't see everything which is also a good thing you see you've got these three dots here you'll have an option here to enable um, a particular article to be pinned to profile and if you do that then you'll be able to allow people that you want to work with to see that particular piece of writing. So if you've got one or two articles in here that relate to what you want to write copywriting about, maybe it's real estate, maybe uh, it's about finance, you can pin those to your profile and send your profile off to different people and they will be able to decide if they like your writing and they want to hire you or not. The last little hidden feature within Writer that I want to show you is the dark mode. And I'm personally somebody who likes working in dark mode and it's up here, which is where you can move between light or dark mode. And then straight away, you can see that everything has changed. Uh, so if you're working sort of in low light or you're somebody like me that likes to work most of the time in dark mode, then that is a feature you can just toggle on and off from the toolbar here at the top in order to be able to change that setting. As I said, we did have a tutorial on how to set up and use the SERP integration. That video is on the screen now. If you got, found this useful, then please consider subscribing to the channel and we'll see you in the next video.